Hello, I'm Tiffany Joy, and in this video I'm going to share with you how I get into my, my writer's mindset. Um, and this part is partly routine, my routine of getting into my writing habits, and partly just some things that you might want to think about introducing into your writing routine or habit to get yourself in the most efficient mindset to write. So the first thing I learned is I have to have headphones to write. Um, typically over the head, over the ear headphones um, and a specific playlist. I can do different playlists and I can do earbuds, but I'm more comfortable with over the ear um, and at my specific electronic but like ambiance electronic music. This just helps me to focus my brain and it's become such a habit that it signals and triggers my brain that yes we're going to be productive now. Another thing that is totally habit and tricks my mind into or triggers my mind into being in a writer's frame of mind is I will have a hot beverage, typically coffee, sometimes tea, sometimes a mocha, you know, mix it up a little bit, but it always has to be a hot beverage. Um, and this way it's reproducible, whether I'm home and it's just what I have in the cabinet or whether I'm out and about in, at a coffee house or somewhere. Um, if I have a hot beverage, I can and my headphones, I can focus in on being productive. It, it's a mind trigger. Um, another thing is pretty particular. I have my favorite pen and sometimes I will even have a specific type of pen or a specific pen that I write for one project and then if I'm doing two projects at once I'll switch over to another type of pen to write my other project that I'm working on. This way it's just a little trigger of to help me separate the two projects. Um, but I do feel like if I have a, the right pen then it helps me focus in more. I'm not worrying about the thickness, the thinness, the how it feels. I'm just writing. Um, so again it's another habit that I set. Um, that was actually unintentional until I found my favorite pen and then yeah. <laughs> um, so another thing which is more I think applicable to every writer is I write out my whatever I'm writing first. I take a pen and a piece of paper, well a notebook, and write out exactly what I want to say and I try not to edit as I'm handwriting of course I will um, just my brain won't let me not edit I so I'll write a sentence and if that doesn't work I'll you know fix it so it does um, and then once that is all written out then I'll go in and type and as I'm typing I'm editing I'm working it so that it's better. I'll then put into a like a grammar or style editor to work on it more. I'll reread it and then um, either give it to the, my gr writing group to critique or I'll publish it on my blog site or if it's something else I'll do whatever I'm doing with it. Um, but the real thing I want to focus on is having the mindset and because it's really hard, like for me, I feel more productive at one specific, um, coffee house and, or coffee houses in general, but learn, definitely learned and like need to be productive at my house. So having the headphones on, having a hot beverage um, 
and listening to the same music really helps. Another thing that helps is having specific notebooks for the different projects. Like if you are working on one project then you'll probably have one notebook for that one project. I have a few different things I work on, like my poetry is, has its own um, notebook so that I see the blue cover, I know that I need to be focusing on that type of writing. If you know, I have a red cover one for a blog series I'm doing and each project has a different color so that I can sort of trick my mind or trigger my mind, have a little statement that goes, okay, now I'm writing this. And also taking a minute to breathe to refocus on writing helps. And if you're going back to a project, read what you've already wrote, or at least the last couple pages that you wrote. That way you can refresh your brain and get into that cycle. Like I know there's one author that I got a tip from that said that he rereads everything that he wrote the day before and edits that and then goes into the next section that he'll be writing that day. And revisiting your work as you're working on it really helps, especially, so especially if you are not writing it every day, but writing going back and reading after you um, take any type of break really helps too and that'll bring your writing skills up a level and I, I believe handwriting then typing and then editing really helps too because it connects your brain in different ways yeah so that's the general idea of how I get into the writer's mindset. Let me know if you have any feedback, comments, or questions. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, of course, feel free to hit the like button or subscribe and comment your feedback down below. And I want to say a special thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Without you, I wouldn't be doing this art. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day, week, or month, however often you watch me. Bye-bye.